Can my employer disclose my health information? Well, the short answer is no, but not for the reasons most people think. This is Christian attorney Ariel Johnson, lawforlife.us. If you're new to this channel, I explore legal issues from a Christian perspective. So if the Christian perspective interests you, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. In this short video, I will explain why your health information is protected by law. For the most part, an employee's health information is protected by the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996, sometimes referred to as HIPAA. HIPAA created national standards to prevent the disclosure of sensitive patient health information without a patient's consent or knowledge. HIPAA has three major sets of rules. First, there are privacy rules. Second, HIPAA imposes certain security rules. And third, HIPAA has what are known as breach rules. Let's address the privacy rules first. HIPAA's privacy rule forbids an organization that is subject to its requirements, these are sometimes called covered entities, from disclosing or using an individual's protected health information. Now, protected health information is also defined by HIPAA, but hopefully by the time I get to the end of this video, the definition of protected health information will be a little clearer. Additionally, HIPAA has some important exceptions that I will also cover momentarily. Now, contrary to popular belief, HIPAA does not apply to most employers. That is to say, HIPAA only applies to covered entities. Now, a covered entity, as defined by the Department of Health and Human Services regulations, specifically include individual and group health plans, a health care clearinghouse, for example, a billing service, a repricing company, or a community health management information system. Covered entities also include healthcare providers such as physicians, hospitals, and HMOs. Additionally, the business associates of covered entities are also considered covered entities. Meanwhile, protected health information encompasses any individually identifiable health information held or transmitted by a covered entity in any form or medium, whether electronic, paper, or oral. Incidentally, HIPAA does not prohibit any person for example, an individual or an entity such as a public entity or a private business, which includes any HIPAA covered entity as defined above, from asking you whether or not you perceived a particular medical procedure. And that includes a COVID-19 vaccine, by the way. That said, just because an employer is not a covered entity under the HIPAA rules does not mean that the employer is not bound by privacy considerations. And to state that less confusingly, the mere fact that your employer is not a covered entity does not mean that they do not have to respect your privacy. And the reason for this is because HIPAA does regulate requests for information from your employer's group health insurance provider who is absolutely bound by HIPAA's privacy rule. Therefore, as a covered entity, your employer's group health insurer, or even a doctor that has a contract with your employer cannot disclose or share your protected health information to anyone except under the following circumstances. The first of those circumstances is as the privacy rule permits or requires. For example, if you are involved in a lawsuit, say for example, a car accident, and during the litigation process, the opposing side requests your medical information, HIPAA would permit opposing counsel to subpoena your health information and the HIPAA rules would permit that. The second exception is where you or your personal representative, meaning someone you have personally nominated, authorizes the release of the information in writing. So together, these two exceptions make it pretty difficult for your employer to just haphazardly release your information without essentially the involvement of a court or the court processes or your written approval to have your information released. So what happens if your protected health information is released unlawfully? Well, the penalties are pretty severe. In fact, a person who knowingly and wrongfully discloses your information must be fined not more than $50,000 in prison for not more than one year or both. Moreover, if the offense is committed under false pretenses, for example, if someone poses as you or your personal representative, that person can be fined up to $100,000 in prison for not more than five years or both. And if the offense is committed with the intent to sell, transfer, or use your individually identifiable health information for commercial advantage, personal gain, or malicious harm, that person can be fined up to $250,000 in prison for not more than 10 years or both. In addition to that, there are other federal laws, including the Americans with Disabilities Act, the Family Medical Leave Act, as well as 
many states have medical records access acts that impose additional limitations on an employer's access to use of and disclosure of protected health information finally if you believe that your privacy rights under the hipaa have been violated you can file a complaint with the federal health and human services office of civil rights sometimes referred to as ocr using its complaint portal assistant a link to which I have placed in the description box. The OCR is responsible for enforcing the privacy rule and carries out this responsibility by investigating HIPAA complaints against covered entities and also by conducting compliance reviews and performing education and outreach to foster compliance. If you find this content useful, please be sure to like this video and to subscribe and share this channel. Also, if you're looking for more information or resources on this subject, I posted an article on my blog, lawforlife.us, where you'll also find other helpful information, content, and resources. Thank you for watching. God bless.